So if you overclocked your memory to 4000 MHz, congratulations. That's quite an achievement. But did you know that there is currently an issue with AMD processors and memory speeds of over 3800 MHz? Not just that the system doesn't support it, like you're, you know, you try to overclock over 3800 MHz or over 3600 MHz sometimes and the system just doesn't respond or it just crashes. Well, on 5000 series CPUs, in case you didn't know, there's a thing called Windows Hardware Error. Now you can test your memory all you want, use any memory testing application, pass every test, run it as long as you want, and you think that your system is stable because your memory is stable, but in the background you have, you're having hardware issues or hardware errors. This is related to the CPU interconnect, basically your Infinity Fabric, uh, your memory controller and your RAM communicating. There is, I don't know all the technical specs or what it all entails, but if you go to your event viewer in Windows, this is Windows 10 by the way, and then you go, you have to run this as administrator. Go to system and then you can see all the errors here for yourself. So these are things that are happening in the background that you're not, you may not be aware of this unless you have hardware info or if you purposely have this open and you're running an, you know, a memory intensive task or just, just, you know, uh, like a game or a benchmark or whatever. Anytime that you put stress on your memory or your CPU and you're running over 3,800 megahertz, you're going to get windows hardware errors or CPU interconnect errors. Um, what does this mean? Well, it depends really. Some claim that they don't really see the difference. Others experience like myself, blue screens, random blue screens. Um, you see your games loading up really slow. You see lag spikes, what you think is lag spikes, or you see your game crashing to the desktop. Uh, things just don't look right. You just feel the system slug, you know, it's just behaving sluggish. Um, also, like for example here, 3D Mark opening this application. This usually doesn't take this long to load, but because I'm having this, um, these errors running in the background, I notice that this happens every single time. It just takes longer and my score is affected. Yeah, um, it doesn't happen every single time, but it does happen when I'm above 3800 megahertz on my memory. Only when I'm above 3800 megahertz. So, you know, we need, we would like, it would be nice for AMD to release the Giza patch, BIOS patch, so that we can run our memory over 3800 megahertz and not have to deal with these errors here because it does affect your performance and it can affect your system performance, not just in benchmarks, not just the way, uh, how fast your CPU, your GPU is running, but uh, it could also cause instability problems. Now, for the most part, you won't notice it unless you're really paying attention. Like for example here, my 3800 megahertz score, score of 7981 versus 7781, I'm getting the errors. You can see that it affects my CPU, my GPU, it affects everything. So yeah, I just quickly wanted to bring this video out to you guys and let you know that if you if you were not aware of this, it is happening. Uh, if you notice your system is acting a little strange, well, it may be because of this, because you're over 3800 megahertz on your memory. There is no remedy. We're just waiting for AMD to release an Agiza update and hopefully fix it. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for now, guys. Hopefully this was helpful. If you enjoyed the video, hit thumbs up. If you did it for whatever reason, you know what to do. Please subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.